Hi all folks, this is Max uh, from HighOnAndroid.com. So I've got the uh, battle out between, well, just a short comparison between um, the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy S2. The Galaxy S2 on my right is the AT&T version, which is um, very similar to the international European slash Asian version, uh, which is a good standard since this is actually um, European slash Asian version. So at first when you open up these both of these phones um, you can see how much more real estate you have um, on my right is the Galaxy S2 which still only has 800 by 480 versus one on my left is 1280 by 800 um, that's almost you know twice more resolution um, while the size is 5.3 inches versus um, 4.3 so the size is screen size is about 30 percent bigger with much much higher um, resolution as you can see I can fit almost five icons across um, in my app drawer you can see that I can fit um, this one actually is a modified uh, ROM that I'm using but you can still see you have more much more room um, to put apps and stuff and with aftermarket ROMs you might be able to even put six by six on the Galaxy Note. Um, other than that, the big screen it is very useful. Let me load up um, CNN real quick here. That I, I was looking at the site, and I would have to zoom about this much to actually read it on both of them, and they're about the same size right now. But you can see at this uh, much zoom. You can see that on the Galaxy S2, you can kind of see a little bit pixelation versus the Galaxy S2, it's very hard to tell. Um, let me actually zoom in so you can see. So that's the Galaxy S, uh, Galaxy Note here. And let me move it over to, whoa. Galaxy um, S2, see how, you can see kind of a little bit of difference. So I got it. Yeah. So let me pull it out fully all the way and zoom out. And at full zoom out, zoomed out position, um, you clearly get uh, more more out of your screen, um, as you can see here. So. Other than that, um, this one, the Galaxy Note runs dual core. 1.4 gigahertz Zyn, Samsung Zynos processor versus dual core 1.2 gigahertz. So you're going to see a little bit of speed improvement, overall speed improvement, eh, somewhere between 15 to 30 um, percent. If you overclock it, of course, it's going to be much, much higher. Of course, the Galaxy Note's um, cool, coolest feature about the Galaxy Note is that you have a uh, S Pen. They don't call it, um, it's a pressure sensitive pen that allows you to um, make lifelike notes and it senses your pressure and you can see have different depth of um, pressure anyway I had that review of that so that's another plus and plus if you're watching Netflix on the um, both of these phones um, actually, you know what? Let's load it up real quick. So I'm going to load up one of my favorite movies, Ongbok 3, right here. And here we go. Let's see. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. We'll keep it going for a little bit. Actually, Netflix is kind of hard to tell because um, their streaming is based on availability. But, well, you can kind of see. Let me pause this real quick up here. And get it exactly right on. And uh, let, me, let me zoom in real quick so you can see better the difference between the two. Well, hopefully you can see it.
well, hold on. It's kind of hard to show people this. But um, the, the, big, big, um, the big idea here is that you get a much larger um, resolution, as you can see. And it's, you know, it's a lot more satisfying on your eyes. The resolution is going to be look about the same because this one has a larger um, screen with a higher resolution. Um, while this has a smaller screen and a smaller resolution so they're going to be about the same the Galaxy Note is going to be a little bit better as you can see it's the colors are actually a little bit brighter too on um, the screen is good so that was the Netflix part of it uh, what else can I show you um, other than that I would say they're on par the camera is pretty much the same they're, they're both using pretty much the same camera um, the only really real difference is the processor, um, so it is faster, bigger screen, and uh, oh, the size, the size they're they're about exactly the same um, width. Actually, the Galaxy Note is about a millimeter or two, a, a, about 1.5 millimeters thicker. Maybe you can barely tell um, just the size. Really, if, you, if you're looking for a device that can do something in between a phone and a tablet, um, then definitely get this one. And if you don't mind the larger size, um, it actually fits in your pocket really well. And for ladies, you're going to carry it in your handbag anyways. Um, but if you don't, if you don't, you know, if you have small hands and, you know, you're a small person and, you know, the, the big, you know, this Galaxy Note is going to be for, hard for you to use. Um, then I would get the Galaxy S2 um, or the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, anyway, that was a short overview of um, the Galaxy Note versus of uh, Galaxy S2. And for those of you with big hands, you're gonna love the you know Galaxy Note because it's it's made for you like you know and uh, and if you're gonna take notes in class and stuff, this thing is just awesome for taking notes. Anyway, that was. Um, if you want me to compare other features of these two phones, uh, don't forget to leave in the comments. Um, I'll make another video uh, with your questions. Alright, thanks y'all and subscribe. See y'all later.